Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here at Maker Faire 2016 and we finally got to see the Pocket NC in person. This is a CNC machine, Dwayne, you're uh, the co-founders here. You guys launched a successful Kickstarter last year. Uh, what made you want to build this, and design this machine? Actually, we just were looking for a, a, a nice five axis CNC machine that was actually more approachable for the price point. Uh, our nearest competitor is about 15 times the expensive. 15 times? Yes, it's difficult to touch a five axis CNC for less than 60 grand. Can you explain why, as you add additional axes, why that's a challenging thing to design and make? Well, like three axes, we've seen a lot of those. Yeah, well, one of the things that we're, it's a big challenge in, like, say, for the 3D printing community is overhangs. With a five axis CNC, you can actually machine underneath things and rotate them around. So you can machine from millions of angles without any trouble at all. What are those five axes you want to illustrate how the your material moves? Well, in this case, on the machine here, you can see the spindle will move in and out. That's the Z axis. And it's able to come to and from away from the front of the case. That is the X axis. Now, the whole assembly here, this is the trunnion assembly. And it actually is able to move up and down on the Y. And we can actually rotate it, the platform back and forth. That's the A axis. And then we also are able to rotate the table itself. That's the B axis. You're adding the, the tilt and the rotate, those A and B axes. Wow. So with one design, you're designing something in CAD. You throw it in here. and um, what can you then mill? Well, actually, we've been partnering with Autodesk Fusion to actually make a nice five-axis uh, CNC CAD CAM program. For the first year, it's free for a hobbyist. After a year, if they have not made $100,000 or more, they can just renew that license over and over. Okay. So it's still free every year until they actually decide to become a millionaire or something. We end up with making a 3D model, and then we'll take that 3D model inside the CAD program and convert it to machine code using the CAM section. And after that, all we have to do is save as G-code, and we upload it to a USB stick and plug it in the front of the machine and go. And then how large of an object can you mill with this machine? Um, you know, I'm not sure. I think it's about four and a quarter on the, uh, the A and the B axis, and I think the Z depth is about two and a half. But more or less, if you take an, or an orange and cut it in half, you'll be able to actually make something that big, even as a block of square. So. And as tough as something like aluminum or even harder? Yeah, like for example, this piece here, this is made out of 6160 aircraft grade billet aluminum. It's a really nice piece if you want to, if you're into model making. Um, you can actually do a tapping using like a thread mill and you'd actually be able to get this assembly as something you could actually operate. You mentioned model making is one of the potential uses. What are you finding that your backers are using the Pocket NC for? You know, there are so many uses for this machine, I can't really say it. I do know that some people are interested in making like 3D dental implants so that they actually can take a, a, a tooth, extract it from a patient, 3D scan the root system and machine it and give them a new replacement root. Mm -hmm. So they can actually come in and get a complete and brand new tooth. And this product is shipping now, people go to the website, order it, in a couple weeks they'll get it? Right, there is a 10 week lead time because it takes us a while to get all the parts together. For example, the motors take us about eight weeks of lead time. But as soon as the company grows enough, we'll carry the inventory to give people an instant product. Talk about a machine that's 15 times cheaper than an industrial machine, that's really allowing designers to open their minds to what they can build and design. Right, especially seeing as you'd be able to machine uh, turbo impellers or small engine blocks, you know. You know if you wanted to have a, a, a child's RC car, if they wanted to have a, a better RC car, you give them a V8, so. That's pretty cool, thank you so much. It's nice yeah. to meet you.